This is the Map Pilot app from Drones Made Easy. Uh, we already did the uh, kind of details of the planning side of the video, so go back and watch that one if you haven't watched that. This is the flight side. Uh, so we're gonna do a real quick layout without kind of explaining anything. Uh, you don't have to double tap to draw the uh, anticipated home point because the triangle, uh, that rep red triangle that represents the uh, location and heading of the aircraft is there, as you can see. Um, it says we're connected at the top. Um, so let's pop this out and do a quick layout. Again, I'm just pushing, hold, push, pushing and holding uh, on these locations to draw the, the area boundary markers. Uh, you can, we're gonna rotate it just to make it kind of go diagonal here. And uh, sorry, the video is maybe a little laggy uh, because we're recording it over Wi-Fi while uh, operating here with the, with the uh, drone connected into the bottom of the iPhone. Uh, so it's, the phone's working pretty hard. Uh, but you can see this layout is one battery. It'll take about 58 images and take 139 points in the Maps Made Easy processing system. Um, and our current flight height is 100 meters. So, um, all right. So once that layout happened, uh, we now have access to these flight controls. So um, let's put these away for now. We're going to press pre-flight and the... Uh, you know, the, way, the waypoints for the mission are being loaded. Um, it also checks uh, whether an SD card is in the camera, whether there's enough room, whether there's enough battery, it checks a bunch of stuff, uh, make sure you're, you're cool to take off. Um, so now we're gonna hit takeoff and um, you can see in my simulator, you can't see the simulator, but um, it's doing an automated takeoff. Um, we have a setting for auto takeoff versus um, manual takeoff where you have to fly it up to five meters by yourself and then uh, take off hit the takeoff button to go from there to start the mission uh, dji kind of limited the um, automatic takeoff capabilities but we put it back in by initiating a normal just take off to one meter above the ground and then uh, doing the, the mission takeoff and that's kind of a workaround um, so the aircraft is up to 100 meters at this point it is now setting uh, the heading. Uh, we maintain the heading uh, to be equal to the heading of the passes of the, of the uh, mapping runs uh, to keep the landing gear out of the way. Um, so again, it's a little laggy, we apologize. Um, so it's heading towards the green marker, which is the start of the flight. And it's going to proceed from there along the path that you see. So it's there. Um, the gray dot it just drew is an image, or basically is a location where an image was taken. So it draw, drops those along the way. Uh, generally, we fly as fast as we possibly can in order to um, uh, keep the framing rate at around two frames, or one frame every two seconds, uh, which we've found to be the fastest uh, speed that the DJI camera can actually uh, capture images without causing uh, any problems. Um, so, you know, the, the higher we are, we could fly faster, but um, DJI actually limits the speed of any automated flights to uh, 10 meters per second at this particular time. Uh, we've been told that it's going to be up to 15 meters per second fairly soon. Um, but if you watch the numbers kind of here on the right, you can see, you know, we've already flown 0.6 kilometers. The speed is, uh, you know, we're coming into a waypoint here, so the speed's kind of low. And it looks like the simulator crashed. So we're just going to stop the demo here.